It's Sunday Fun Day. That's right. Add some digital wisdom to your day with today's digital life hack. And then keep listening. A listener question is right on deck. Looking for love online? 80% of singles lie on their dating profiles. Not exactly the best foundation for a relationship. I'm Kim Commando, America's digital pro. The most common lies, age, height, and relationship status. Think your online date is fibbing? Paste your messages into chat GPT. AI will analyze them to catch inconsistencies. If they claim to be 30 but casually mention seeing the breakfast club in theaters, AI will flag that. What about height? Women are using ChatGPT to call out guys lying about their height on dating apps. Just upload a few photos, and it's going to estimate height based on surroundings. In a test with 10 people, ChatGPT was accurate within an inch. Now, wondering if you're their main squeeze or just a side fling? ChatGPT can analyze responses to questions like, where do you see us in a few months? How do you usually spend your weekends? If your love interest is vague, time to look for other fish in the sea. Join a half a million folks who get TechSmart every day at GetKim.com. Hey, have you heard about The Current? It's this amazing free tech newsletter that keeps you in the loop about everything. AI, making money, and insider tips to get ahead at work and life. Everything is tech now. I can't afford to fall behind, and neither can you. In just five minutes a day, that's it. The Current makes it so easy to stay ahead without feeling overwhelmed. Join half a million people at GetTheCurrent.com. It's free. Don't be left behind. That's GetTheCurrent.com. Sign up now. GetTheCurrent.com. All right, now for a slice of something different. Let's crank open the listener mailbox and see what gems that you've sent my way. Dobby in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Glad to have you with us. No, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I've been having trouble with my my cameras. I got Wi-Fi cameras. All right, one was a Genie camera. I had bought two from Walmart, and they plugged in, you know, hooked up to your Wi-Fi. And pe- I don't know how um, people were breaking into them. I would change my passcode. Um, tens of twenties of times, I would uh, change my Wi-Fi passcode, and they would still like it would be still stuff missing. I could say how how could I mean like it be parts of the film missing? Like it be like parts where they be in my house taking things, it'd be gone. But I don't know how they do it. Then I brought another camera from um, Walmart. It was uh, um, a Roku home camera, but uh, you know it roll it um it motions around and it catches you know, thing, and they still getting into this. What is my problem? What am I doing wrong? Well, how do you know that someone's going into your cameras and they're erasing, because you said, like, some footage is missing? Yeah, yeah, footage is missing, yes. Footage is missing, and, like, yeah, footage is missing of the act. It'd like it be, like, maybe 119, then it goes just 240, you know, but that whole segment is missing. Well, sometimes cameras they only record when motion is detected. Yeah, they get. I'm saying. So, they, they, that, excuse me, I'm sorry, ma'am. That what I'm saying. When motion was detected, that's when it. So, sorry, that when it would say motion is detected, but then that that motion would, that would be detected, it would be gone. It won't be there. The picture would not be there. It just be um. It is skipped to something else. I mean, like it's been happening for the last almost year now. Like now, I just got new cameras, and I'm thinking like it's the Wi-Fi. I did a little research myself. They say if somebody only that can happen if somebody had your Wi-Fi set, and I'm not sharing my Wi-Fi set with anyone. Are you, are you sharing your uh, internet connection with anybody? No, no one, no, no one. Did you have anybody who who maybe you know used to live in the house and they don't live in the house anymore? Yes, but it's, it's I brought a whole new prepaid box. You bought a whole new. I'm sorry, sir. What? Yeah, I brought a prepaid box from Boost. I pay forty five dollars a month for, uh, and get uh, unlimited service from Xfinity. Okay. Well, uh, what I was meaning, where, what I was going to, is that there could have been somebody who maybe just wants to mess with your head a little bit. Okay. And if they had, uh, you know, the in with the router uh, that's in your house that's distributing your Wi Fi, if they can get into the router they have access to the devices on the network. Okay. So what you want to do is if, if those folks, you know, are no longer living with you, mm-hmm. and but they did at one point, they probably may know the router's password. And so what you want to do is change that router's password. If you're not sure how to do that, uh, we have all the instructions over at commando.com. And you can also use what's called the advanced IP scanner. You might want to do that too. What it does is it analyzes the wireless network 
and there's a big green button that says scan and it will tell you all the devices that are connected to your Wi-Fi. So this way you can make sure that nobody's not, you know, actually jumping on your Wi-Fi and then getting in the cameras and then kind of messing with your head just a little bit. But again, that's advanced IP scanner. But if somebody lived in your house once, this is a rule of thumb, somebody lived in your house once, Okay. If you haven't changed the router password since they, they vacated the premises, now's the time to do it because you never know what they could have enabled up to and including what's called remote access, which is ugh, just what it is, remote access to every single thing on your network. Doobie, thank you once again for your call. Hey, cheers for being part of the listening squad. Now, if you have something on your tech radar that you're dying to know more about, easy peasy, head over to commando.com, click email Kim. Now, every email you send gets my full attention. No kidding. Now, when you're ready for no fluff, just essential tech stuff in your inbox, head over to getkim.com and sign up for my free daily newsletter. That's getkim.com.